Hello, today we're going to learn how to find the perimeter of rectangles and squares. Perimeter is the distance around a shape or an object. In this example here, we have a rectangle. Our goal is to find the perimeter. It's always important first to identify the length and the width. My length here is one, two, three, four, five, six units. My width is one, two. I always like identifying my length equals six units. And I also have my width, which is going to be two units. Now, what's really great about a rectangle is if one side is six units, that means the opposite side is also going to be six units. Here my width is two, so that means this side is also gonna be two. Now there's two different ways you can find the perimeter. The first way is you can count along the edges of my rectangle. So if I was to count here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So yes, my perimeter is 16 units. However, in some examples, you might not want to count because you might be here for a while counting, especially when you have larger numbers. So what you can do is you can add all four sides. So I see that I have one length here of six and another length of six as well. So I have six plus six, plus my two widths, two plus two. Now we're dealing with a four-sided figure, which here we have a rectangle. We need to be adding all four sides. Six plus six is 12, and two plus two is four. Now I have 12 plus four is 16. And just like I have here, 16 units is the perimeter of this rectangle. Now notice when I did my addition, I did it in steps. That's absolutely fine to do to help you find the perimeter. In this problem here, we're given a length of 15 inches, and we also have our width of eight inches. Now I noticed here that they only label two sides. Now when I'm finding my perimeter, it's really important to make sure I have all four sides that I'm gonna to add together. So if I know that this side is 15 inches, the opposite side is also 15 inches. <coughs> now for my width, if I know that this side is eight inches, that means the opposite side is also eight inches. Now it's very important when we're adding to find the perimeter, we're adding my two lengths, 15 plus 15. Then I am also adding my two widths, eight plus eight. Now notice I'm adding four numbers together here. When you are finding the perimeter of a rectangle, it has four sides. That means you're adding four numbers together. 15 plus 15 is 30, and eight plus eight is 16. Now when I add 30 plus 16 together, I get 46. Now for my perimeter, I simply write 46 inches. Now notice I'm just adding my side lengths together. That is all I am doing here. So I have 46 inches is the perimeter of this rectangle. For this next one, there's no rectangle given to us, except we are given the length and the width of a rectangle are 20 yards and nine yards respect respectively. Determine the perimeter of the rectangle. Whenever I am not given a rectangle, I like to draw it out because it helps me see what's given. Now my longest side is known as my length. So 20 yards is my length, and I also have nine yards is my width. Now what I see here 
is I'm given a length and I'm given a width. I only have two sides right now labeled. So if I did 20 plus 9, I'm adding the perimeter for half of this rectangle. I have this side and this side, but we can't forget about the third and the fourth side. So I'm still going to label them so I don't forget about it. So I have 20 yards here, and my other width is also going to be 9 yards. Now, to find the perimeter, I'm going to add all four sides. So I have 20 plus 20 as my two lengths. And my two widths are going to be 9 plus 9. Now, notice I have four numbers representing the four side lengths. 20 plus 20 is 40. And 9 plus 9 is 18. 40 plus 18 is 58. Now, 58 is my answer, but it's important to put our units as 58 yards. Now, 58 yards is the perimeter of this rectangle. When you are finding perimeter of rectangles and squares, these are four-sided figures. That means you are always going to be adding four numbers together, representing the four side lengths to help you find the perimeter of the given figure. As always, this video will be posted on my YouTube channel. Feel free to refer back to it as much as possible when you are solving any problems involving perimeter.